Hey there, bros. Welcome to Diamond 2, um, EU West Nami gameplay. We're playing with an Ash this game, um, and we are up against a Varus Lulu. Ash is running Exhaust, I'm running Ignite, and they're running Barry Hill. So getting kills from our side of things is going to be really difficult. Um, it's kind of like weird, both kind of like... Varus is a pokey AD carry, so is Ash. Lulu is a, you know, a solid enchanter, so is Nami. It's kind of weird to see... Yeah, that's not a lethality Varus, that's an on-hit Varus with the Lulu and the lethal tempo. Hmm. So it's not going to be quite as much poke. 10 out of 10 months of great content. Thank you, Bizzle. Thank you, Jack. Thank you for signing up, for subscribing for 10 months. Much appreciated. But yeah, it's an on-hit Varus. So he's not going to be as pokey in the lane. So we could maybe, maybe sneak something through. Um, jungles are Evelyn versus Kha'Zix. So it's kind of whichever one snowballs off the most early would be the victor. Um, that, that whole team is like squishy-ish frontline. I'm sure Riven would be quite tanky with a death stance, but... Just more annoying here. Just trying to figure this one out. We've got an Ori ball for the Kha'Zix or for the Mordekaiser. Honestly, I don't like both team compositions. I think ours is probably the mo more standard. Um, but, you know, if any of those assassins get fed on their team, kind of putting Riven in the assassin <laughs> route there. Assassin slash bruiser slash tank slash healer with the death stance. Um, we'll have to see. Someone on our team is definitely going to need a Grievous Wounds. We need a couple. We've got Akali, Self Healing. Varus will probably have Blade of the Ring King with that build. Um, and then Riven with Conqueror and Death Stance. Would be pretty annoying. So I'm playing Nami pre Spell Thieves Edge buff. I'm sure I'll be doing some more Nami games when that buff comes through. Denying his Varus and CS there. He's scared to come last hit. Lulu doesn't have to play any aggressive at all here because she's running Relic Shield. Yeah, that Varus poke isn't that scary when there is no Comet. Flash underscore ink has added five to the berry bush. Hey Flash, thank you for giving five subs to the berry bush. Much appreciated. Welcome everyone who just joined. Ow. Okay, we're gonna have to pop a potion here. Time that bad with the turret auto attack timing. Shouldn't have taken a turret hit there. This is why Relic Shield probably could use a slight nerf because I'm trying to be as aggressive as possible. Whereas Lulu gets to kind of just backseat and just not have to commit to anything risky and still get rewarded with the gold with the Relic Shield. I'm dead for this trade. I mean, both of these in theory should die, right? Luda's gonna get the oh the triumph. Hmm. Well, Kazit's nearly died though. I don't know if Varus actually used Barrier there. I thought the Kha'Zix would A, get in a bit quicker and B, do a little bit more damage, but my bad. I guess he didn't buy yet. Hmm. Anyway, good news for us for this lane is that this wave is pushing in badly for them. 
Lulu needs to recall too, so she's going to miss out on some extra XP. I'm going to try and thin out this wave a little bit. I'm going to hit some of these melee minions here for Ash. We can freeze this lane. Ash is ahead in CS and there's a bigger way for her here. She also picked up the kill in the bot lane trade, so overall we're ahead. Hmm, I missed that melee minion up for her. It's a sort of frozen. Ash has been pretty accepted, so is Varus. I kind of just, <laughs> I need, I'm going to struggle to get gold stacks this game. So when this mana flow ban complete as soon as possible. We're gonna have to wait until mid game team fights to get some good gold from this. They're going to hit six first. Even though we had a bigger wave there, and got to free freeze it quite a lot. I'm surprised their bot lane hasn't been punished as much. One more stack of mana for Van to go. Yeah, this is just the classic reason of like why Relic Shield on Lulu is much better than Spell Thief's Edge at the moment. Not sure it's going to make much of a difference when the Spell Thief's Edge buff comes through. But you can see how like the Lulu doesn't have to commit to... Oh no, she's moving forwards? Why are you moving forwards? No. I'm not sure what was happening there with the the ash pathing. It's a shame the bubble didn't connect to anything there either. I'm gonna try and interrupt that virus recall, but it's gonna be dodgy with the ult. Okay, good. Varus is leveled. Hold on, we can get a kill here. <sighs> really used heal. I can't really be here much longer. Kha'Zix is around. I could maybe bait it through. Yeah. Kazakhs is going to kindly freeze that wave as well. Surprised, I'm not really that surprised. Ash coming back into lane there and then dying. Um, yeah. I'm not a fan of Ash in solo queue. I think she's one of the weakest AD carries in the game in terms of like the actual, when the fights happen. If she gets an opportunity to kite, it's amazing, but the amount of like champions that are in the game that can just go straight on top of her as well makes it kiting in some cases nearly impossible. But yeah, that was um, 
a lot of shields there. You had the Varus shield, you had the Lulu heal, then you had the Lulu shield, and then you had the Lulu ult. It's a lot there. Anyway, it's nice. Kazik's got another kill. He's on 4 0 right now. So Ash Arrow can set up Kazix quite nicely. Let's see if he can pop over to mid. Cool, or on a ball. Ash is looking to arrow him, maybe. Well, that sucks what happened mid. It was a decent error as well. Wasn't expecting Akali to have flash after all of that. They get a lot bot side as well. It's three turret platings and XP and stuff. We just lost 2v4 basically. Shame that Oriana oh, didn't connect to anything when that tower dive happened. Ash is going to really struggle this game against all of these assassins. Don't even have ult. Oh, how are these bubbles not protecting? Didn't need to take that last kill. That does get me uh, Athena's and Holy Crow, so which means we can actually maybe win 2v2s now. I had it anyway though without that kill. Ash managed to heal a lot through that. I'm surprised she survived as long as she did, and then my little airy tick there at the end managed to keep her alive. Yeah, she didn't move, but she didn't need to. Uh, she had nothing to, to kite off. They had used up all of their skill shots anyway, and then it was just literally just like a DPS fight. <laughs> Evan and five kills. If our Kazik can't handle the Evelyn, then this is where it gets into scary territory. Evelyn won't be around for sure. We now have to play really passively. If we weren't already. At least on the gold front, I managed to catch up to Lulu with all of these fights. I'm now basically even on her with the Spell Thieves versus Relic Shield. Top's losing 1v1. It's going to be a difficult game. At least we got the first dragon this game. Shame she didn't stand a little bit further close, like closer to the turret there. Evelyn will be full HP soon. That turret is going down as well. Yeah, having to, to wait at the turret there so passively for such a long time and then dying like that is horrible. 16 Magi stacks on Evelyn at the moment.
don't have Kha'Zix on this side of the map. Pretty careful. Why would you go that way? Okay, right. That ended up being worth it, but that was very bad pathing. That could have been completely different. Oh, but it's... yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit frustrating. We've got Kha'Zix kind of nearby, but not really close enough. I mean, Lulu has stuff. a bubble on the turret. Orana ulti's good. Alright, that's worth it. Okay. Have to dangle myself there as bait there a little bit, but uh, we got what we needed. Bubble wouldn't have been enough there either. Orianna had to come in with that ulti. Playing against fed assassins, River and just killed my Ash as well. We just lost three people. Ugh. I use a lot for that. <clears throat> if they fight quite quickly, I'm not going to be able to help that much. Mod's the only hope. Nah, I mean, we can do a nice combo. They, at the end of the day, the Evan and the Okali are very squishy. Even the Varus. I know Ludus can, can make one target a bit beefier, but... If we can get a really good combo going in an actual team fight, we haven't had a 5v5 yet. If. Mm. If we can get a 5v5 going. Can we do this? Evidence right there. Salty. Once again, worth it to dangle my face there as bait, but it's another two for one with my death. It's time to get this Herald if everyone whacks the face on it right now. Someone needs to hit the eye. Come on, people use the Herald mechanics. Kha'Zix isn't even helping. Okay, unless Evelyn comes across us and smites it. Good.
All right, Evelyn is the control there. Guarantee Evelyn's looking for me. Akali's already coming down. Ash, you gotta move. I guess you just give it up. Just give it up. Give it up. We're too slow in the rotation over the Herald. I had to kind of like... I knew Evelyn was probably around looking for me there, but I had to like gamble and ward there just in case anyway. Otherwise we weren't never going to get priority over that dragon. Luckily my ult timer isn't too long. Yeah, it's a very fair Evelyn. We've also got a very fed Kha'Zix thing. Evelyn has all. Decent combo. How's no one dead there? How are you today? I'm okay, thank you. One second, I'll have a look at Dana in a sec. I'm not sure about this. Ward needs to tank this, but he's not. Okay. We can probably guide Harold to hit the tier 1 here. Okay, good. Can we go over back over here to do it? Or we're gonna just record. Water Kaiser wants a 5v9. 5v9. <laughs> I don't know, I really want to get an Ardent Sense in there if we're not gonna actually fight here properly. Okay, good. We need to keep looking for picks, I think. I, I can't sustain this. Oh dear, we just lost. Alright, Evan's stunned at the back then. She's I'm more I'm screwed. Okay, maybe not screwed. <laughs> Seriously? Evelyn? Oh, she, how did she not get bubbled? No way. How is that not a bubble? And we didn't even kill a Kali. Are they doing it? They're doing it. Oh my god. I got no wards. No. Kazix. Okay, good. <laughs> Kazix might go for it. He's got it, right? Nice. He might die to Evelyn or something now, though. 
What are we going to have? Okay, that's not that bad. We have jungle are down. Plus the Akali. We can definitely get the Drake off that. Bit of a nasty game, this one. The Sight and Redemption, yeah. I could have done something like a Zonia's here, maybe, but I think, like, just get everything through as much as possible on the, um, on the healing and shooting front. Like, if I die, at least I can use the Redemption still. Oh, come on, Oriana. There's no need to tilt like that. There's always another way. Sigh, these guys, man. They can just push down mid if they wanted to. We're not fooling anyone here. Oh god, do we really want this? Do my best to keep everyone alive here. Nice, um, Kazix pick on the Evelyn. Don't know how we managed to keep him alive then. I really want to recall and get more wards. They're trying to push down mid. Mm, I could maybe risk going in behind here. That was nasty. Stitch at Kali's there. We can just go towards Baron. No, 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 no. Just lost our DPS for Baron. Hey, if she had flash, maybe she could have beat, won that trade. Need wads. I was gonna say, I was like, need 200 gold for redemption, but I need wads. Makes things pretty awkward. for that, isn't he? God, that Akali's a pain in the ass to deal with. 
Is this gonna be the Baron now? Ash trying a little bit too hard to uh, make a big player there, I think. But she got pretty out DPS there by the virus. They need one dragon for Mountain Soul, and that's up in 20 seconds. Feel bad for the Kha'Zix, because he's come out on top on the Assassin front. But a bit too much tilt coming from the Cerdalanas this game. I'm not really sure why either. Guess Maud's dead. Maybe one last fight in us. Maybe. Carly's looking for a pick. Should we try and give it to her? Sucks so much. Entirely sure what I think to buy next because it would be like a stopwatch. But I need to keep those control wars coming, especially against St. Evelyn. Such a shame our team's tilted. I think we have great team fight potential. We've shown it in, in cases, but. Gonna win this. Good. If I'd missed that bubble, he dies. Orion, I had to use ulti. Okay. We get a flash out of that villain, too. I think, like, if we can get a. Out of dragon, we can still win. If I think this is a messy enough game where anything can happen right now. Yeah, last couple of Orion. Oh, we had one or two nice Orion on ults, but we needed the, that to keep happening. That was another whiff. GG. Some very weird tilting situations with the Mordekaiser, like not wanting to tank the Baron for some reason. That was pretty weird. Um, 
Orion obviously flashing and using someone as uh, an ulti on the ground once we lost the third Drake. That was um, obviously pretty troll of her. Um, got on another Kha'Zix. Kind of I think he played pretty well. The way it happens. That was a really hard game to play Nami actually as well. They had a lot of ability on their team. Um with the the Akali, the Riven it was pretty difficult to land bubbles in. Probably should have landed a few more bubbles in lane against the Barris and Lulu though. Not sure if it would have changed anything, maybe, but um I mean Ash had a weird some weird positionings in some of the situations early, but I think overall she played okay. Considering the situation, yeah, like on the team, our team, you know, kind of been doing a little bit meh, but uh, it's not the worst Ash player I've played, I've played with, and I think when you're playing against like basically two assassins and a Riven, you're gonna have, always gonna have a really bad time playing Ash anyway. Here, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, and if you're watching on Twitch, then hi, how you doing?